welcome to Hogwarts. Now, in a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Will you wait along here, please? Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. Gryffindor! <laughs> Draco Malfoy. Slytherin! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh my goodness! It's Professor McGonagall. Miss Granger. Five points will be taken from Gryffindor for your serious lack of judgment. First Quidditch game of the season. Today's game, Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Goal! Ten points for Gryffindor! The worst Malfoy knows. I don't understand. Good evening. Nothing, I repeat, nothing, gives a student the right to walk about the school at night. No, you heard me correctly. You will join your classmates in detention. Another year gone. Professor McGonagall. Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. Fortunately, I'm delighted to announce that his place will be taken by none other than our own Rubius Hagrid. These visits to Hogsmeade Village are a privilege. Should your behavior reflect poorly on the school in any way, that privilege shall not be extended again. We have a killer on the loose. Oh, serious black in Hogsmeade. Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Come on. Now, tell me what this is all about. Well, now, years ago, when Harry Potter's parents realized they were marked for death, do you remember? They went yes. into hiding. Mm -hmm. Few knew where they were. One who did was serious black. This can't go on, Albus. First the dark mark, now this. What do you suggest, Minerva? <laughs> Put an end to it. Don't let Potter compete. You heard Barty, the rules are clear. Well, the devil with Barty and his rules. And since when did you accommodate the ministry? But Master, I too find it difficult to believe this mere coincidence, however. If we are to truly discover the meaning of these events, perhaps we should, for the time being, let them unfold. But do nothing. Offer him up as bait. I mean, Potter is a boy, not a piece of meat. I agree with Severus. Alistair, keep an eye. <laughs> 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 Oh, I saw that we heard about this. It's not a threat. Professor Moody. Oh. It's not a threat. Oh. Professor. Oh. I can tell you stories about your father, not a curl, even oh. your greasy hair boy. Alistair. It doesn't end here. Alistair, we never use transfiguration as a punishment. Surely Dumbledore told you that. He might have mentioned it. Well, you will do well to remember it. Mwah. If you like the way I talk to my... As representatives of the host school, I expect each and every one of you to put your best foot forward, and I mean this literally because the Yule Ball is first and foremost a dance. Inside every girl, a secret swan slumbers, longing to burst forth and take flight. Something's about to burst out of Eloise Midgen, but I don't think it's a swan. <laughs> Inside every boy, a lordly lion prepared to prance, Mr. Weasley. Yes. Will you join me, please? Hmm. Place your right hand on my waist. Where? My waist. <laughs> and extend your arm. <laughs> Mr. Felch, if you please. 
Oh, I am. Are you want a smoothie? We also wish to welcome our new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. I'm sure. Moonlighting? Now, as I was oh, a load of waffles. As if you're questioning my authority in my own classroom. Minerva. Not at all, Dolores. Merely your medieval methods. I am sorry, dear. But to question my practices is to question the ministry. And by extension, the minister himself. I am a tolerant woman. But the one thing I will not stand for is disloyalty. Disloyalty. 